Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Paul here from South Africa. Um, I've just acquired myself the Pod NV 008P. Um, as you can see, it's already mounted to my Saku 2D3. Um, purely for vomiting purposes, we've got a massive problem with black back jackal on our stock. So subscribe, stay tuned to the channel if you want to see footage of that in the future. Um, there were one or two things during the mounting process that I encountered that I'm sure some people will find useful. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to mount this. So I'm just going to go through quickly what you get in the box. Um, you get the unit itself, nice and compact. You get your mounting rail with two adjustable clamps over here, which uh, fit onto the Picatinny rail that's on the rifle itself. And this part of the rail fits onto the scope like that. You get three mounting screws which attach the rail itself to the unit. You get two shims, look like that, which slide over the mounting holes between the screws and the unit. You get two hex nut wrenches, uh, also known as Allen keys. And then you get a little adjustable foot with a tiny screw at the top, which fits over here, like that. This foot obviously is used to adjust the height of the mount on the Picatinny rail um, when zeroing the rifle. My Picatinny rail has quite high grooves so the mount from the pod um, doesn't slide onto this Picatinny rail when this foot is attached. Um, I've obviously zeroed the rifle when I attached the the unit so I know that it's working fine without that um, but just check the height of your Picatinny rail grooves. Right so attaching the rail itself to the unit it's a little bit fiddly but turn the unit upside down you're going to take the shims these two and the shims fit in between the top of the rail over there and the unit you're going to line them up, there's no specific holes which they should be lined up with. I just found that it worked for me on the first hole over there and the third hole over there. Then you're going to take the unit itself, line up the holes and just pop them down like that. And then place the screws on the holes and then I like to tighten these down first so that they don't move around. And then before tightening the third screw, just make sure that they are actually lined up and they're not sticking out anywhere. Alright, you can see that that's all lined up. Take your third screw and place it right on the last hole. Alright guys, so attaching the unit and the rail itself to the rifle, depending on where you want your eye relief to be, obviously going to slide this forwards or backwards. Um, I already know where mine sits nicely, so you push these two nuts forward over there like that, and 
Just put it onto the rail. I've got a number 15 spanner here. Just pop that over there. Just tighten these down. Cool. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe for some cool footage of some jackal getting shot.